what up my beautiful virgos welcome back to the channel it's your girl genie and you already know what it is so let's just get in between this energy virgo we're gonna be doing a live reading for the virgos right i've already shopping for this so let's just get into the energy first of all um 1228 can be significant because i started this reading at 1208 so there's something about twos and eight that could be significant right now. You could be seeing a lot of twelves or twos or eights, okay? Um, and then I got something about like freezer burn energy or somebody like with cold frostbite fingertips. I don't know what that's about, but I got that there could be somebody who was stuck, okay? Stuck for three days, 30 hours, stuck somewhere cold in their fingers. Um, their fingers might get... Uh, frostbite and then i was getting something about like a feather headpiece okay this could be one of those you know indian feather headpieces or this could be like a feather hat there's something here about um feathers in your head somebody needs to i don't know feathers and heads okay feathers head fingers frostbite energy so stay warm virgo all right and then Okay, and then the mantra today is limitations only exist in your mind. So let's get into it. Okay, limitations only exist in your mind for Virgo. What's going on for Virgo in love? What's going on for Virgo in love, please? We got heartbroken, deeply sad, and separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. And then we got I like you. So I'm getting Virgo right after you break up with somebody like <laughs> another one pops in. Okay, just like that. It's giving the energy of back to back. I feel like um, there could be people viewing you as heartbroken, but they like you. What's going on for Virgo's energy with the new energy for Virgo? We have paradise and then we have karmic relationships. So let's get into it. We have happiness, enjoyment, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. And then we have fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, letting go and loving you. So Virgo, there's somebody here. You're in this heartbroken position right now, but you're getting some type of happiness. Somebody's helping you heal from some type of heartbroken energy. Somebody brings joy into your, your life. You guys are enjoying each other at this time. There's an expansion happening here. Whoever this person is, they're helping you get over a karmic relationship. They're helping you let go of fleeting, okay, resentment. They're helping you let go of something. This person may also help you love yourself. Whoever this person is, I feel like they're helping you rise up from the ashes. Okay, they want to help you grow. They want to change your mind about love. So this could be somebody who's always saying that, like, I'm not them. <laughs> I'm not that, Virgo. Let's see. What's Virgo heartbroken about? <clears throat> what's Virgo heartbroken about? Addiction. You're heartbroken because you got with somebody who could have addictions, whether that's sexual, mental, physical, um, addictions, Virgo, somebody you were dealing with, you have to separate from this person because of their own addictions or yours, take it as a residence. But I feel like whoever you were dealing with, it was addictive, Virgo. That's why you didn't let this person go. I felt like you, I feel like you let a lot of things slide because, um, of your attraction, your addiction to this person, period. But I feel like you're letting that shit go. You're moving on. Okay, it could have made you sad to move on. But you're okay. This could be a Scorpio. Yeah, so I feel like you are um, moving on from somebody with addictions. What's this paradise energy here? Playfulness, enjoying each other. We have divine union reconciliation and ooh they violated you so i'm gonna reshuffle for this but i feel like virgo you're coming into union with somebody right as like a karmic relationship is trying to um reunite with you what's this energy happy expansion playfulness enjoying each other for virgo one card please We 
believes that Scorpio in divine masculine, divine feminine energy. So you have met a water sign, um, a water sign, divine masculine, divine feminine. This person could have Scorpio somewhere in their chart, or this could be you. All right. Scorpio does not have to be their sun sign, but somebody has Scorpio on their chart, Virgo. Um, could be in their eighth house, in their intimacy. Oh my gosh. Um, I think that's where I have Scorpio. But um, anyways, with this paradise, whoever this person is, Virgo, that you have uh, met up with, you're playing with at this time, you two are enjoying each other. This is a vibrational match with the divine feminine, divine masculine energy here. Okay, we have dysfunctional home at the bottom. Use your will to say no, cancer, wealth, Sagittarius, hardship, reconciliation. So like I said, as this person comes into your life, here are these karmic relationships. Let's see. What's the karmic relationship? What's the... We have Aries, Libra, and magic involved. So there's a karmic relationship with an Aries or a Libra here. Um, this does not have to be their sun signs. They just have it somewhere in their chart. Whoever these karmic relationships, whoever these people uh, you were dealing with, there was magic involved. Okay, again, does not have to be these signs. These signs could be attached to an Aries or a Libra. I don't know. Um, but whatever this is, there's magic involved. Yeah. And I feel like these people are going through hardship, Virgo. Or dealing with these people put you in hardship. Yeah, and they want to reconcile because they love you now. And they see you celebrating. But something is over. All right? I feel like you're moving into a time of blessings here. And with this Capricorn energy, these people are very sad about you walking away. But it's really more about the money. That's why they violated you. That's why they were shady. Okay? Somebody could be a single parent. You could have been left as a single parent. But you're moving on, Virgo. I, I just heard pop this shit out of my mouth. So that's the energy. We have soulmates and lost. So how is Virgo feeling in love right now? We'll get into the tarot. How is Virgo feeling in love right now? You feel like there is definite witchcraft, okay? Negativity going on around your energy. You can feel it. People are definitely attacking you to cause of magic. Your exes, these past people, they don't want you to go, Virgo. They're trying to do love spells on you, trying to get you to stay in low vibrations. You feel like people are fucking with you. You feel like there's negative energy around your love life at this time. And then we have reconciliation coming back, making it work in second chance with this union energy here, okay? So this is somebody you've already met. This is somebody you've already met or you're having a reconciliation with your divine feminine, divine masculine in the 3D, okay? But there's something about a union coming together, all right? And then we have frozen, yeah? For this last energy with frozen karmic, you're not speaking to these people. You're not taking action towards these people. You don't care, Virgo. These people are dead on ice to you. So that's the energy. All right. There's also a level of spiritual protection around you at this time, shielding you and getting people out of your life that is not supposed to be in your life, especially motherfuckers who's doing witchcraft and magic and weird shit, trying to get you to like them. Oh, what's this addiction in witchcraft? You could have been addicted to this person because they were doing love magic on you. What's this heartbroken addiction energy? We have the Eight of Cups and the Judgment. It doesn't matter, Virgo. You have walked away from this. You have made up your mind here with the Judgment. You have walked away. You made up your mind. Okay, you may have tried to reconcile with somebody from your past, but you realize that you got to hold back from them because you realize that with the Eight of Swords and the Three of Swords, there's a mental blockage. There's some type of blockage that is not going to work for you. This is just not going to work with the three of swords energy here. With the ten of wands and the page of wands, Virgo, you're dropping this. You're releasing this. I feel like you're tired of trying to make something work. You realize that there's a restriction. There's a blockage. So you're just going to let that restriction and blockage be. Ten of wands. And as soon as you release it, page of wands, there is a message from someone else. Seven of cups. Okay. As soon as you decide to release someone, as soon as you made that judgment call to break yourself out of some type of witchcraft, page of wands, there's a message from somebody else. What's this energy? What's this energy coming back together? Reconciliation, making it work. What did I say to me? Paradise. I want to take it to paradise. Um... LL Cool J could be sniffing it. 
Who is, I think it was Ashanti in that. Five of Wands. What's this Five of Wands energy? The Knight of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Somebody's coming in, Virgo. Somebody's coming in quickly. All right. I feel like this, this is somebody who's competing for you. But the Nine of Swords and the Queen of Wands, this is somebody who's, gonna, who's wanting to just pop up quickly. With the Hermit, they could have been like in the background getting um, information about you. This could have been, this could have been somebody, okay, you could have vetted, you could have been in a dating phase where you were vetting people. And this could have been somebody that you vetted, Virgo, but you went towards competition, the Queen of Wands. You went towards this attractive energy here. The Hermit, you may have ghosted this person. The Ace of Wands and the Nine of Wands. Ace of Cups. So whoever this person is, Virgo, they're coming back in, but they're afraid. They're, they're worried about, um, I feel like with the Nine of Cups, they're worried about like being everything that you want. Okay, they're, they're worried about fulfilling you. Six of Wands. Somebody here, they, okay, we have the King of Swords and the King of Coins. Seven of Cups here in the Six of Wands. Whoever this person is, Virgo, they're they're afraid that you could be already like emotionally stable on your own. All right. Whoever this person is, in the past you ghosted them, but they're coming back around. They're worried about you being emotionally stable on your own here with the King of Swords. Whoever this person is, they could see you as the King of Swords. What's the King of Coins and the King of Swords energy for Virgo? The Empress. Whew. All right. Somebody here, Virgo, they want to give you what you want with the King of Coins energy. I feel like this is somebody who would marry you straight up and down with the King of Coins energy. This is somebody who's uh, ready and dedicated, especially paired with the King of Swords. This is somebody who they know what you want. They know what you uh they know your worth here with the king of swords and i feel like this is a very disciplined person and they have a position of authority with the empress this person is wanting to commit and dedicate themselves to you but they're playing it smart because you're in this empress energy and because you're in this empress energy yeah they're willing to wait but virgo you made this person wait in the past with this empress and the queen of wands energy you may have went towards someone you were more attracted to um, you may have went towards somebody you saw as more fruitful. I don't know. But this person feels like they got to be disciplined with you because with the interest energy, it's almost like you don't need them. And they know that because you've shown them that in the past, the devil. Somebody is really obsessed with you. The devil, the death card, the eight of coins, and the king of pentacles. Virgo, somebody's being disciplined with you because they know you just got out of a toxic situation here. And they want to transform something. What's the Eight of Coins of the King of Wands? The High Priestess. Somebody doesn't know if you're still dealing with someone. The Two of Pentacles, yeah. This person may feel like you're juggling them with that past person that you're heartbroken over. You may have juggled them with that past person in the past. We have three of uh, pinnacles, the ten of cups, the nine of swords, and the ten of wands. So this is somebody here who they're worried they want to start or they have started something with you, but they're worried about being everything that you want them to be. They're trying to remain disciplined because they know the caliber of woman that you are and that any toxic situation you may just end, which, which you just did. All right, there could have been some type of relationship where somebody was juggling you and this broke your heart. And with the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Wands, Virgo, is giving me the energy. That for your own family, you took action to release something. So this person knows your business with the enlightened energy. They know you were just heartbroken about this. So this is somebody who's watching. So 
You may get a message from this person, somebody in the background who was watching you go through a relationship, Virgo. Uh, what are they going to do? What's going to happen between you, Virgo and this person? We have the Nine of Wands. There's the Emperor, the Nine of, the Nine of Coins, and the Six of Swords. I was about to say, uh, Virgo, first of all, you came out as the Queen of Wands and the Empress, whether you're female or male, but then all four kings came out and there's the emperor so whoever you're dealing with at this time Virgo was trying to show up to you in different kings but I feel like they're about to show up to you in real life as the emperor to match your energy as the empress I'm telling you whoever this person is with the king of coins I swear and the empress and the emperor they want to they want to have this union all right they want to make it work they want to have this position with you and with the Knight of Coins and the Six of Coins, somebody is going to be dedicated to coming towards you or dedicating to making this happen. This person could have to travel. We have the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Somebody here, there's an emperor who's dedicated to moving you into a better place after some type of betrayal. Betrayal with a new person. What's this energy here with the Ten of Swords? Yeah, I oh shit. Somebody here, I feel like they want to bring you happiness. They want to move you out of this low vibrational energy. Five of cups in the reverse. Here we go. Eight of cups at the bottom. Virgo is going to keep saying the same thing. Whoever this person is, they're dedicated to moving you out of this energy. Out of uh, the ten of swords energy. Feeling down, stagnant, feeling betrayed and broken. All right, with the ace of cups, the sun and the five of cups. This person is also dedicated to moving something into love because you may have turned them down in the past. But I feel like Virgo, this is them trying to move you on from a past relationship with the sun card and the five of cups in the reverse. Someone wants to succeed in like making you feel feel better. Okay, the five of cups is short term sadness. The five of cups in the reverse is recovery and peace and acceptance. So there is somebody here, Virgo, who I feel like they are very dedicated. They have a very secure offer for you, um, but they feel like they need to get you up out of this sadness energy is like their main focus <coughs> at this time. Um, and I'm sorry for any of the Virgos who are sad right now going through it. Like, I'll pray for you. I hope all this negativity, this witchcraft and people breaking your hearts don't really hold you back from new love. Is there somebody in your energy? They feel like they feel like uh, <laughs> they feel like you left them for somebody who broke your heart. All right. Or you may have ghosted them for someone who broke your heart, but they they want to fix that. They, they're trying to show you that you should have picked them in the first place. Um, what's this energy? Frozen. Not speaking, not taking action for karmic relationships in Virgo. We have the Hermit, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. Those are not taking action. Somebody ghosted you or you ghosted these people. And with the Ace of, Ace of Coins and the Page of Wands... You had a new beginning or you're having a new beginning. Page of Wands and it's good news. The Moon card. The Two of Swords. The Ten of Swords. The Ten of Coins. And the Star card. I feel like Virgo is being illuminated. That these people are blocked off after an ending. Because with the Ten of Pentacles and the Star card. It's almost like you're cool and healed and okay by yourself. Like I feel like you have found clarity and balanced out moving away. Um, so what's this energy here with the hermit? We have the six of wands. Okay, what's the energy here with the ace of coins? We have the eight of coins. We have the strength card, the seven of cups, the page of cups, the nine of cups, and the full. So there's people here, Virgo, that you have uh, ghosted. You're not talking to these people. This happened on purpose, frozen. Something's not moving forward uh, because they tried to do some type of magic attack on you. All right. 
um, whatever this is, they you're having a new beginning. They're getting good news. These people are getting news about your good news, your victories, and the things that you are working on. With the strength in the Seven of Cups, these people from your past that threw magic on you are seeing that you have strong contenders. They're seeing that you have strong like um, love options, Virgo. And with the Page of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Fool, these people want to give to you again. With a full card, they may take a risk now that you are financially stable or now that you're single to come back around. But I don't even feel like you're single, Virgo. King of Wands, I mean, you, you could be single at this time, but this person is on your head. With the King of Wands and the Six of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, there's definitely somebody from your past here who you have walked away from. And this person wants to start over again. So these people who you have just walked, broke, broke your heart and walked away from you, Virgo, you're not taking action on the, not taking action towards them, but they're getting good news about your relationship. So it's going to make them, with the full card, want to try again. All right, so look out for that. Uh, closing messages for Virgo. Closing messages for Virgo and love, please. With this heartbroken energy, closing messages for Virgo and love. Heartbroken energy. We have inadequacy, sue and attention. Virgo, these people in your past didn't treat you in the way that you should have been treated. You were treated in an inadequate way. All right, you had to protest to get what you want, to get attention, to get the things that should have been given to you. And I feel like it ain't even worth it. <laughs> Look, lesson learned. It wasn't worth it. It was just a lesson here. I'm getting that, that energy of somebody who's like, you, you go fight for me? And then Virgo, you're like, nah, I'm not doing no wrestling. Like, this is this energy. People, The people from your past wanted you to fight for their attention. They wanted you to compete for them. Be addicted, low vibrational, to negativity. No, I ain't doing no wrestling is the energy I'm getting. So that was a lesson learned. In your past was a lesson learned. There go that magic again. Uh, what's this masculine, feminine union energy for Virgo? Somebody got a really long hair. What's this energy? fuck out of here we have collaboration luck schedule and aid i'm telling you whoever this person is that is collaborating with you wants to be in a union all right they're collaborating and whatever collaboration y'all about to have is going to be a very lucky one you didn't hit the jackpot virgo this is a lucky one with the plan and mercy i swear it keeps saying it over and over and over and over and over again this person's plan is to help you Show kindness to you and help you get out of this heartbroken energy. I'm telling you, this person is about to show you that they are not like these other people you have been dealing with. This collaboration is not like the other collaborations you have been dealing with, Virgo. Whoever this person is, their plan is to help. That's the only intentions that this person has thus far. Collaborating with you. Collaborating with you. Hitting the jackpot being a power couple, and helping you. Nothing nefarious. We got family energy at the bottom. This person wants a bond, Virgo. We have obligation. We have coach. We have thief, bribe, readiness, compromise, lonely, dictatorship, stubbornness, and liber liberation. Somebody here feels like you may be overloaded and they feel like they got some advice or knowledge that can help you. They feel like you have been exploited and treated unfair and persuaded. Whoever this person is is ready to, they're prepared, they're preparing to reconcile with you. I'm telling you, this is somebody you have met before. This person has been waiting lonely or they know you're disappointed and isolated. This person feels like people are trying to dictate you, dictate you and to control you and they can't, but they're about to liberate you. This person feels like uh <clears throat> This person feels like they see your stress and loss and shit. 
It's almost like they see all this pain in you. But with the sweetheart, sweet dream apology, it's like somebody wants to make up for it. They feel like you're worth it. Oh my gosh, stop. They're worth it. You're worth it. They want to make you comfortable. Somebody feels guilty about some interaction. They feel like they should have preserved it and you would have been... <gasps> Virgo, this person feels like they should have did more when you were in the vetting stages to get you to get be with them instead of going towards these other people who broke your heart. They feel guilty that they didn't try harder. I'm, I'm so weak. This is the cutest reading ever. I'm about to cry. Like there's somebody that's like, man... If I would apply pressure back to Virgo, maybe she wouldn't have went or maybe he wouldn't have went with this other energy. That's really sad, y'all. <laughs> That's really sad. Um, because Virgo is your choice. You can feel me? Um, so what's this frozen energy? <clears> that <throat> this is sad, y'all. This is sad. So look out for this message though. Um <clears throat> What's this other energy? We have merit making and magic again at the bottom. Get the fuck out of here. Why is there so much magic? Virgo, take a couple days to be celibate. All right, celibate, recharge your energy. Go touch the grass, you know, go cleanse out your home, your house, your energy. Wipe down the walls with, you know, bleach and salt. Put, you know, salt and um, other cleaning agents in your cleaning supplies and really wipe down your home your body and your mind from these people because there's a lot of people who wanted you to stay all right they wanted you to stay so bad they did love magic towards you they did super magical disturbance here just to interact with you these people could have tried to send magic towards you to get you to come back because you separated from them what the fuck we have promised fate and overload these people wanted you they wanted to ensure you stay with them. Uh-uh. I'm, I'm backing up off this energy. These could have been friends. Uh-uh. Anyways, Virgo, there's somebody here. Okay? There's somebody here um, that's about to take, take your full attention. And I feel like this is going to allow you to get over a lot of things that you've been dealing with. But at the same time, it's going to cause... Whatever this person is about to do in your life is going to cause people to want to come apologize to you. All right. So, yeah, that's what I got here for you, Virgos. If you resonate with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next to the Virgos. And y'all already know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.